Hello, today I'm going to show you how to complete a DocuSign or an individual tax return. First step in completing this process is opening up your email and finding the DocuSign email that was sent to you. If you have a spouse, both spouses will receive a separate email from DocuSign with their portion of the signatures needed. Within our DocuSign email, the subject will always have your name, and if you scroll down, there's a message. Within the message, you'll be able to determine whether you're receiving a refund, there's no tax payable, or there's a balance due. After you've reviewed the message, you can click on this yellow box that says Review Documents. When you click on this yellow box, the DocuSign will open up in an internet browser. Now you can complete your DocuSign. If the signer on the DocuSign is incorrect, you can change the signer by clicking on Other Actions and clicking on Assign to Someone Else. Next, you input the new signer's name as well as their email and you will click this yellow Assign button. When you do that, the DocuSign will be resent to the new email for the correct person to sign. To complete the DocuSign, you will click this yellow Continue button then this yellow Start button. This is going to take you to the engagement letter. This is the engagement letter signature page and you are gonna have a signature and a date. If you have a spouse, each spouse will have a signature and a date on their portion of the DocuSign. So to complete this, you're, you're just going to click on the yellow signature box and it's gonna sign. The next signature page is going to be the optional prepaid audit representation. If you have a spouse, only the taxpayer will be required to fill out the audit representation. On this page is going to be a signature that you can complete by clicking on, there's also going to be a box that is going to accept or decline. You are accepting or declining the optional prepaid audit representation. Below here is a letter explaining what the optional prepaid audit representation is. And if you scroll down on our invoice, you can see what the cost of the optional prepaid audit representation is. For now, we're going to click this decline button, and decline it, and then we're going to click this yellow next button. Now, the next signature page is going to be our invoice. Like I previously mentioned, only the taxpayer is required to fill out this page if you have a spouse. The first thing to fill out on the invoice is going to be the optional prepaid audit representation. You're going to accept or decline. We're going to once again decline. it. Now that it's declined, the amount due is not going to change. However, we manually charge your card. Therefore, whenever we charge, we only will charge you for the preparation fee. After you choose to accept or decline, the next step is to put in your card information. We will need your expiration date, the CCV code, and the credit card number. To fill out each of these boxes, you can click on them and then input your information. After you've input the information in all three boxes, you can sign the invoice. To sign the invoice, you're going to click on the yellow box. Now that that is complete, you can click this yellow fill-in box. It's gonna take you to the federal and state signature pages. For each federal and state signature page that is required, there will be a signature and a date. If you have a spouse, each spouse will have a signature and a date portion on their portion of the DocuSign. So to complete this, you're going to click on the yellow box to sign. You will do the same process for each federal and state return and then you're gonna click this yellow finish box. Once you've clicked the yellow finish box, you have completed the DocuSign. DocuSign may ask you if you would like to log in. However, that is not necessary. Once you click the yellow finish button, the DocuSign is complete.